video I'm going to be <clears throat> talking about some hidden features kind of really that weren't really announced too much like some hidden features and stuff that was added and changed in the game that people really didn't notice too much or maybe you didn't know about till now but one of them being is the um ammunition ball has been upgraded not like upgraded but changed like rearranged you know I mean like this whole wall over here used to be full of weapons on this right side. Now you have all your pistols up in the front. All your melee weapons here used to just have the knives and the police bat thing. Now you have your proximity mines over here with the sticky bombs. And a few other things move around. That was what one thing that was changed in the uh, update. There was also a few other minor things that <coughs> were changed. Like people falling through your yacht when the owner moves it or... Um, stuff like where your captain falls through, or just stupid stuff like that, or when you spawn into the eclipse towers, when you're loading into a session, you'll spawn in the shower with your clothes on. Just stupid stuff that doesn't really matter, almost. But well, they took the time to, like, fix this, so... I'm pretty happy. <laughs> but there's a few things, like, if you... Like, prevent griefing, I guess, against people, like... Maybe if you're a noob and you don't know about passive mode, or you don't want to go in passive mode because you would like to have your weapons out, but if somebody kills you, kills you three times within five minutes, and you get no damage on them, you can uh, click. I think it's right on the D-pad. I think it is. So maybe I'm right. maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Correct me in the comment section if I am, but I think it's right on the D-pad, and you can go undetected for a certain amount of time by that one player. And then, like, you'll be undetected, basically, by them, but, like, neither neither of you can see each other, but you're not in passive mode or off the radar to everyone, just that one person. So I think that could actually kind of help, because it helps people griefing and other situations like that. And they also said that they've made the s network's connections better and the servers more stable. Which I think I've noticed just a little bit, because I'm always kind of being kicked out of sessions and lagging and stuff. So, that one actually quite helped a bit. Now, another thing that has been fixed was... Um, if you... If you completed, I think it was the prison break heist, and you had your crew emblem on your... Tattooed on your body, it would disappear, so they changed that, that way it's fixed. There was another one where... Your crew, emblems were dis your crew emblems were disappearing off your cards for absolutely no reason. And you kept having to take them to Dallas Customs, put them back on, and it just kind of gets annoying. But anyways, there was like so many changes in this. I've never seen this many up, like features and stuff changed, you know? No, there may be a few I'm forgetting, but there's literally pages after pages of these changes. And I'll link that in the description of where you can... I got a little link to take you to the Rockstar website, and it tells you all the features and stuff. But I'm pretty sure that a lot of this is actually... Like, it almost didn't matter, but it helps. Like, and there was some, some important stuff. Like, it says... Um... This one here says... Fixed issue where Vapid Hot Knife was being delivered with no engine cover. I would actually kind of like one of those. Um, fixed issue where BMX bikes were changing colors to black after logging out and logging into online. You know, there's just like a few things like that, like... <clears throat> there's ones where like you could paint like your bikes and... It was just stuff like that basically, but... It, to me it made... It didn't really matter, like it kind of made it like more cool, but... I guess if you had a BMX bike and you logged out and came back in and then... You kind of wanted if you had like a cool color on it, maybe like a modded one. Something to stay on there, but... Either way, I like this, and I will sh leave a link in the description where you can find all these patch notes and update stuff. 
so that way you guys can go check them out for yourself. And I'm also going to link a few of my friends' other YouTube channels that are just kind of getting started in the comment section. I'll probably have three or four of them in there. So if you guys can go check them out too, maybe give them a like, like on their video and sub to them. One of my one friends, his name is Michael K. Gaming. He does a lot of... What's that one game? I'm trying to think. <laughs> I think it's Rainbow Six Siege. He does that in Black Ops 3 and... He actually has really cool videos and stuff, so if you guys can go give him a sub and like his videos, that'd be greatly appreciated. With that being said.